Uh, this is the third announcement by the Department of Justice of attaining records of journalists during the last year of the Trump administration, so something there projecting publicly uh, that happened during the last year of the Trump administration. They've also indicated that this is the last. Uh, as you noted, Alex, the president has made clear that on his watch, uh, freedom of press will be protected. Who really cares if the government snoops on the lamestream media, right? The privacy concerns of journalists probably are not at the top of your list or even on your list at all. Well, this is all about what your government decides you're allowed to know and what you just can't handle. The Obama administration has indicted six people for leaking information that landed in the media's lap. Think that's not so many? Well, it's more than all previous administrations combined. We're going to start, we're just going to focus on this one leak to James Rosen. And then it's in the spring of 2010 when they actually start going after James Rosen and yeah. investigating him. And here is where people get really worried. This is where this investigation jumps from a leak investigation of someone in the government who provided classified information into an investigation of a journalist and a, targeting a journalist. The government in a search warrant for James Rosen's email calls him an aider and a better and or co-conspirator in the crime of espionage. That's what has media watchdogs so outraged. They crossed a line that previous administrations have not crossed and it suggests, if you read the, the search warrant, that they were at the very least considering the potentially indicting this person. For doing his job as a journalist. And yeah. who do we know? How high did this go up in the Justice Department? So we've only found out recently that Eric Holder himself, the attorney general, had to sign off on this very controversial search warrant of James Rosen's, James Rosen's private email.